Welcome back to more X4 Foundations. In the last episode, we captured ourselves a katana. That's right, we pirated it. There it is right there. I uh, stopped at the space lab and got a... After I repaired the katana myself to save some money, I uh, went to the space lab and got a pilot and ordered him to... Um, to be the captain of the, this katana, and he's a pretty good pilot. He's um, he cost me a couple hundred, yeah, a couple hundred grand. Um, he's got uh, really good morale, <clears throat> and I actually train him here to Can I help? boost up his piloting skill to almost three. So yeah, we're fully invested in this uh, in this ship here. Um, now the cool thing about this ship that I didn't know this when I pirated it, is that it comes with a hundred advanced satellites. I mean, that's worth, I don't know how many credits alone. I mean, we could sell a hundred advanced satellites and we could make a lot of money off of that. So let's see here, um, let's go. Yeah, 4.6 million. Well, it's gonna be more than that, 4.8 million. So, that, that is insane. So that's pretty lucrative right there. I mean, we, I think we want to hang on to the advanced satellites because they can be pretty useful. Um, they cover a, a much larger area um, than the regular satellites do. But here's another katana, and we're going to uh, pirate it as well, or at least attempt to. Actually, let me do a quick save here. I gotta say, pirating in this game is a lot of fun, and it's a great way to acquire ships without having to pay for them. Because, you know, ships in this game can be pretty That's expensive. surrender by actually being able to you tell him to surrender. Oh, he's still not willing to play. You're, I'm not talking to you. 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 Requesting permission to stop. I'm not talking to you. Get lost. Help! I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. That is my secondary, so we're not destroying a lot of his shields. You're going to get it now. I'm not talking to you. What do you want? This isn't worth it. Yes. 
Perfect. We got ourselves another katana. Now this one's really damaged and it's going to take a while to repair the hole. So just bear with me as I repair this thing. I know it's going to be it's not going to make for great video content, but it's something that we got to do to save money. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting I got to go through here to use this katana. Hey, this is great. We're going to have ourselves a fleet of medium corvettes. We're going to have a lot of firepower. This will come in, in handy quite a bit. There it is. self straightened out here. Well, I'll just let that go for a while.
let's take a break and check out on, let's see, check on some of our assets here. Okay, you can come back, dock and wait there. <clears throat> Nice, our Kestrel is looking at the moon. Let's put down a satellite here. And a satellite here. Orbital support station. Okay, <clears throat> and then explore, and that should lead to Earth. He's coming back. Continue repairs. I mean, my goodness, 100 advanced satellites. I hope this one has 100 advanced satellites, too. That'd be epic. We have 200 advanced satellites to use and put down. And Man. That's just... That'd be fantastic. So yeah, if you attack the POI freelancer katanas, you will not get a reputation hit with the Polaris, or the Polaris, I'm thinking of Imperion Galactic Survival. You will not get a reputation hit with uh, the Cigars Pioneers. Now the question becomes, what do we do after this? Do we go attack more Xenon? I mean, don't, we don't really have to because we're already at reputation 20. So if we were, well, not that we got reputation in Getsufuni anyway, but if we went to attack more Xenon, we would basically do it in order to um, earn more money. Oh, here comes our other katana. We're almost there. to land and find another pilot for this ship. And I'd be willing to to spend, you know, decent credits to get a good pilot. Just like I did with the last one. I'm mostly looking for good morale because morale, you know, you can't you know, you can't uh give a seminar for morale, but piloting you can always give a seminar for to at least get it up to level 2. Piloting level 3 seminars, or I guess it would be level 2 seminars, are um, they're a little bit harder to come by. You can't just buy them at Station Traders. Alright. 
We are repaired. Uh, where did our ship go? There it is. Docking granted. Space Lab. Docking Grant. Successfully docked. We're pleased to welcome you aboard. Hello. Oh, wow. Hello there. Three million. Oh, my goodness, no. Good luck out there. She'd be great for boarding actions, though. Another Hello guy. There. Wow. Good luck out there. Hello there. Man. Good luck out there. They're all Uber Marines. What about you? Hello there. Okay. That's... Oof. And we don't need the engineering. That's the problem. The engineering skill doesn't really do us any good. And it, is it worth it to get Hello there. Uh, that much morale and that much piloting for that much credits? Good luck out there. Because you're basically paying for the engineering skill. Hello there. Yeah, Good no. luck out there. Hello there. Okay, that's more reasonable. Three morale, that's great. We can always level up the piloting skill. And we could use them as a, you know, as a marine if we wanted to. Uh, let's go there. Captain. I hope I live up to your expectations. Um, oh man, which katana? I'm gonna have to walk. I'm gonna have to actually physically go to it. Katana. Okay. Um, let's bring you up. Let's level your piloting Can skill. I help? Excellent. Now we want you to board. Upgrade and dock here. We'll upgrade your engines. have any guns or any turrets left. 
give you all of that. Don't need trading software. Can get rid of that. Save some money. Oh, he doesn't have advanced satellites. We'll sell all that stuff. Okay. Looks good to me. We have this Velvet Thunder. I guess we can put them on Explore. Here's another Katana. Two shield generators, combat level two, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Have him explore. Yeah, let's go to... Why not? Let's go to Getsufune and get in on some of this action up here. Autopilot. Engage. We can also check out the Void. Because there's usually some Xenon action down here. And that will get us some rep with the Antigone Republic. Entering system, Antigone Memorial. Holy cow, we're gonna run into that asteroid. Oh, I can't. Oh. Uh, autopilot never fails. Never fails. Autopilot. Alright, autopilot, disengaged. you're being retarded, so let's.
entering system. The void. Autopilot disengaged. Shuyaku Sentinel. Join us. Joining squad. Unknown object. Autopilot disengaged. Huh, it's pretty quiet at this gate. Usually that's not the case. Entering system. Frontier edge. Wow, that is a lot of. It's a lot of argon. This should lead to a Xenon sector. Unknown object. Wow. A lot of Argon presence here too. here. Jump. Entering system. Katya's misfortune. Yeah, there's a lot on the other side of that. Entering system. How about we get out of there? Oh wow, the Xenon are starting to build a defense platform there. Autopilot engaged. Interesting.
entering system. The void. the gate. Entering system. Get Sofune. Autopilot. Engaged. Engaged. Autopilot. Engaged. Oh, yeah. Autopilot engaged. I'll go and pick that up real quick. Since there's nothing going on here at the moment. Wow, three Z9Ks attacked here. Oof. Jump gate, Sol.
Auto doing? Pilot disengaged. Autopilot engaged. Entering system, Sol. Auto autopilot engaged. Accelerator, Mars. Computronic substrate fab. Autopilot, disengaged. Docking granted. Successfully docked. board. Xenon War Room, yes. Oh, wow. Pilot, always good to see a new recruit. I am in charge of coordinating the Terran Protectorate's response to the Xenon threat. My priorities are twofold, to keep the soul system safe from all harm and to direct the intervention core towards the enemy holed up in the furthest reaches of the universe. The military would not have approached you if you weren't a friend of the Protectorate. Xenon forces are vast, so we are always in need of manpower. Since it is our mission to seek out all Xenon strongholds, our military campaigns regularly push into hostile territory far away from any possible support. Because of this, we can only recruit the most capable pilots. You will have to submit to a test. Your race and former affiliations do not matter, as long as you swear allegiance to our cause. Hello there. Hello there. You will be granted the choice of many tasks, from combat deployments to construction work. What is available will depend on the current situation in the area. You will be paid as you complete your allotted tasks, and we may see fit to reward you further at the conclusion. I see you want to know exactly what it is that you are signing up for. The Xenon were originally mere terraforming tools, intended to further our reach into the universe. However, their artificial general intelligence eventually caused them to grow out of control. Now, their hostile presence permeates the universe, and they have long been the most destructive, lethal menace of all, threatening to snuff out all life. Unfortunately, the community of planets has proven, again and again, that they are incapable of keeping the Xenon in Hello check there. themselves. So it is left up to us to eradicate the Xenon. To effectively achieve that, we cannot restrict ourselves to their notions of borders and sovereignty. This threat is bigger than petty politics. Besides, if they were more competent, 
we would not have to do their job for them. Are we done here? Excellent. You will now find tasks related to our ongoing campaign against the Xenon in your mission interface. All right. Can we hire any of you? Oh, there's a crew woman. Hello there. Good luck out there. Hello there. Wow. Good luck out there. Three million. Hello there. Good luck out there. Hello. Hello. Katana. All right, let's see what kind of missions we got for the war against the Zedon. Ah, auto save. Let's see here. Oh, of course, most of them are hard. There is something I want to do. Um, go to second contact two and head south into Paranid territory. I need to discover some more of the map here. Um, but I kind of want to go alone, so I'm going to tell these guys to just uh, chill out here at this wharf. Let's check on our scouts. Okay. <clears throat> and let's head to The reason I want to go alone is because I want to check out Xenon space down here, and I don't want... I don't want to risk... my wingman, um... getting involved in combat. Especially since they usually lag really far behind. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and remove assignments. Dock and wait. Huh, wonder where that jump is. Entering system. Get so fune. Now one option we do have is we could sell these katanas, probably, oh, 
man, if we sell the advanced, the 100 advanced satellites that are on the one katana, and then sell the other two katanas, I mean, goodness, that might be up towards 10 million credits right there alone. And then we could use that money to buy uh, miners to keep a steady uh, flow of income coming in. What is the autopilot doing? But I haven't decided if I want to do that yet or not. Autopilot disengaged. I may ultimately decide to sell those katanas. I don't know. It is nice having the extra firepower. Especially when you're trying to take on, like, multiple Xenon. Oh. P. Speaking of which... Let's get some, uh... Oh, man. Let's get some money. Stopped on a dime. Oh, junk, there's more coming. P entering system. The void. We found something out here. Uh, ignore that. This guy's damaged a little bit. Let's see if we can take him out. made that kill in Antigone Republic space, so hopefully we get some rep with them for that. That would be nice. Because we are, I think, minus 15 with them. We'll end this episode by uh, going into Parented Space and just kind of seeing what's there and then uh, check out the rest of the Xenon sectors. Hopefully without getting murdered. Entering system. Second contact. Alright, he died quick. Wow, there's a huge fight going on here. Food ration it's factory. lag like crazy. Docking denied. Oh, that's right. We're not friendly with these people. We might be with the Paranid, though. Or at least neutral. Wow, this is super laggy with all this action going on. That's a huge, huge battle. Entering system. True sight. Okay, what's our relation to the... 
Man, it's not good either. Pilot. Entering system. Second contact. Autopilot. All right, autopilot. Disengage. into that freighter that would hurt container Space by eggs, yes. That's huge. Okay. What else do we got? Piloting crew, yes, I'll take that. Requesting immediate backup. Autopilot disengaged. Okay. Man, this is wild. What a battle. What else do we got? Heavy missiles, yeah. Get out of here. Yeah, I'll take that. Auto pilot engaged. Don't mind me, guys. Auto pilot disengaged. Seminars, this is great. Autopilot disengaged. We got two pilot basic piloting seminars there. More space fly eggs. Explosion imminent. Oh crap. I think we're far enough away. Shields down a little bit. 
This is dangerous looting. Advanced targeting module. And that might come in handy. Autopilot. Requesting immediate backup. Autopilot. Disengage. Interface unit. Three basic piloting seminars. Security slicers. I think those are worth a decent amount. Autopilot. Engaged. Looks like the Paranid are winning this battle. I know that's not funny. Autopilot engaged. Man, there's all kinds of loot here. Oof. Man, it's just so easy to get distracted in this game. Disengaged. Another programmable field array. Autopilot. Engage. That's really not scary. I won't let you get away with that. Autopilot. Disengage. Okay. Why did I get a new payment of 21,000 credits? Energy catalyst. Can't remember if that's worth anything. Autopilot. Engage. Autopilot. Disengage. Fuel container. Come on. Autopilot engaged. Autopilot disengaged. about got everything. Oh, another programmable filter, eh? Autopilot. Engaged. And the Paranid has so many destroyers. Wow. Engaged. Okay. I will not you, 
Pick this up and then hit the highway. Autopilot disengaged. I think I'll put a cut right there in this episode and uh, we'll pick it up in the next episode um, next episode we're going to go into Paranid space and then continue on to Xenon space and then just kind of have a look around um, I think also I'm gonna go in the meantime I'm gonna go back to Terran space pick up a pilot and because uh, it's always handy to have one around because you never know when you might need one. So I'm going to do that for next episode. And until then, I'll see you next time.